guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to complete the Tower of Babel Easter egg and get yourself a very nice achievement. On screen will be an annotation to the Maxis side, and that will be uploaded as soon as I can. If you're logged into a YouTube account, be sure to give this video a like rating, and if you really enjoyed it, be sure to give it your favourites. This took a very, very long time to do, so anyway, let's go. Now this easter egg can only be done with 4 players, so as soon as you and your 3 teammates spawn in, you want to build the turbine, because then you'll hear Maxis speak for the first time, and that will activate his kind of chain of speech if you will, so at the moment here we're building the turbine, and the turbine is also a very useful device that you'll need to use throughout your journeys in transit, so I'm going to just let you guys hear Maxis's part, and then I'll come back. Maxis, no! Now that that's occurred, you want to take the bus and you want to go to the power room and you want to obviously turn on the power as that will activate Maxis's speech for the second time and he will tell you that, that you have to turn off the power to continue communications. Now if you want to do the Maxis a side quest then what you want to do is you want to turn the power off after that but what you want to do here is you want to turn the power on and you don't want to turn it off you want to keep it on the whole time because if we keep it on then we're going to have Richtofen's transmission now this character is very important as he is the only character that can hear Richtofen so after the you've put the power on and Max has finished his transmission it's a complete random amount of time but eventually this character will hear Richtofen speak to him and he'll say this This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Of your group, you are the only one who seems to be able to hear me. So you must convince your deaf friends to heat up the obelisk. Setting a puny fire will not be enough. It must reach an extreme temperature. Now, if only you know how to build a portable engine of some sort, which might go very hard. Hmm. Some sort of jet engine with an afterburner? Oh, what? You do? Oh, goody, goody. So, why are you still standing here listening to voices in your head? Get to it, Schweinhund! Or Maxis will kill so to build this obelisk we're going to need a few parts. Now the very first part is a meteor which is at the bus depot as soon as you spawn. It is through this crack right here and all these items I'm about to list need to be taken to the cornfields to this massive electronic pylon which is in between stops 3 and 4, you can't miss it. So I just picked up a nav card there as well which is not needed. Well, at least not for this easter egg part anyway so here we are we're in the cornfield you want to follow your way until you find the pylon here you want to find the right spot where you can actually plant this some clips are filmed with theater modes so some parts you may not actually see parts being picked up but they are definitely there so now we're going to move on to the wooden plank which can either spawn in the tunnel or it can spawn in the power room below the workbench. So there we go, we've got our wooden plank right there. And take that back to the pylon and we're gonna build that as well. Another really useful tip while you're doing this, if you get galva knuckles, you can really, really help yourself out when you're trying to find all these parts. Right, so the next part we're going to look for is we're gonna look for a power box, which can either be in these, this fridge part in the farm right next to the fridge or it can spawn next to a dumpster in the town by one of the mystery box locations so we're going to build that and now we only need one more part and the last part is a good old-fashioned radio and you can find this radio either in the garage in the diner right here or if you go in Naxxed and Totem which is literally on the opposite side of the cornfields you'll find the radio in there so upon building all these parts together you build yourself the obelisk which contains a nav card reader. Now at the moment we have no idea how to use this as any cards that you use say this card is invalid but it doesn't matter because these aren't part of the easter egg that we're doing right now. Just go find it! 
Right, now we've built that, we can get on to the main objective which Richtofen told us to do originally, which was to build the jet gun. So the first part of this jet gun is in the tunnel. We can spawn in other three locations in the tunnel, but they're all generally in the same place. And I'm going to give you each of the four parts and how the gun's made in the order in which you will go around the bus stops to get them. So this is from literally the bus depot to the diner. It is the first stop. And here we go. We are now going through the cornfields into Nacta and Toten to look for the handle of the wonder weapon. Now, just take into account again that all of these parts can only be built in the town, which is the last bus stop. So, if you have all four players collect one piece each, you can get this built pretty easily. So, here we go. You can either find it on this shelf right here, which I didn't seem to find right there, or if you go back here, you can find it on the cabinet there. Moving on to the next location, the power generator room. If you literally come up here, jump over this catwalk, making sure you don't fall down, and if you hop down here, you'll find it somewhere around here. You can find it on there, you can find it back here, or you can find it on top of here. Wait, again, filmed in theatre mode so you can't see it. And the last part is on your way from the power generator to the town. I showed this in theatre mode, you guys can see this in very nice smooth. Just to show you how to get through the fog of course, you want to make sure that you're looking up towards the light and when you see this lamppost there, you'll know you found this lovely looking shack and it can spawn in either the bed or in the fireplace. So as you can see here, running towards the hut now going into the hut and we've got the bowie knife here as well which you can also pick up for 3000 points it's quite useful a nice alternative to the galvan knuckles and now once we've got all the parts here you want to build it and when you've built this machine which we know is the jet gun or it has a pretty long title actually which is actually called wait for it the Frostadine Aeronautics Model 23. As soon as you've built that, Excellent. whoever can hear Rick's something will hear this. Superb. Now get this thing to the obelisk. We must hurry for Max is a busy little beaver. What's a dummy bird? So now what you want to do is you want to take the jet gun to the obelisk. You can shoot it on the towards the actual table or you can have it shooting upwards towards the top of the pile and it doesn't really matter as long as you get this message. So as Rick Toffin said, we need a bunch of 115 and the only way you can do this is if you get a horde of zombies underneath this pylon and you shoot them with an explosive weapon. So for this We've got the M1911 pistols upgraded to the Mustang and Sally's as they're pretty powerful. But you can also use RPGs, war machines, any guns which produce an explosion. And uh, once you have a fair amount of zombies, all you want to have to do is you want to be able to kill them all in one. You can have one person do this step or you can have four people. I find it's easiest if one or two people do this part, have one standing towards a corner while the other person trains all the zombies and then you can just shoot them. Or if you like to play solo, then what you can do is you one of you can just stay here while the other three camp out in like the town or something, and you just train and then shoot the zombies. You'll know when you've completed the step correctly if the character that can hear Richtoff and hears him say this. When Richtofen says that you need a division of four, you need to get EMP grenades. And this is probably the hardest part out of this entire easter egg. Every single player has to get the EMP grenades out of the mystery box. Now this could take you 10 tries to get, could take you 20, could take you 200 tries. It's honestly one of the hardest parts about this easter egg. So make sure everyone on your team has EMP grenades before you can do this last step. Once everyone on your team has EMP grenades you want to create a teleporter by a lamppost and the way to do this is to get a denizen zombie to jump on your back, run towards the lamppost and it will create a teleporter and you've got to make sure that this lamppost is flickering and once you've gone that everyone has to throw an EMP grenade towards the teleporter at the exact same time and you know when you've done it right when you hear Richtofen speak for the character that can hear him and you'll, of course you'll get your achievement. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! 
So there you go guys, that is the Tower of Babel Easter Egg completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this useful, especially if you're going to use this guy to help you get this Easter Egg done as well. The hardest part is honestly getting the EMP grenade, so it's a matter of luck and just hoarding loads of points. Now you don't get any sort of in-game reward for doing this Easter Egg, but all the lights flicker like crazy and it sends a load of lights towards the pylon, which you can see right here in the sky. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Be sure to give it a like rating if you haven't already and on screen now will be a bunch of annotations where you can go and click to watch some other Black Ops 2 videos including Transit, Nuketown Zombies, Grief and some survival maps. If you haven't already do subscribe to my channel and also I'm pretty sure there is something else after this easter egg so stay tuned to my channel to see if we find anything else regarding this easter egg continuing as I'm sure it is far from over. See you guys soon.